Hey 49ers faithful! We've got some breaking news and updates for you today, so make sure to watch the whole video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest from our beloved 49ers. Latest on Trent Williams' contract situation. The 49ers enter the weekend with a pressing need to get Trent Williams signed. Marco Martinez of Clutch Gene Sports on YouTube, who broke the news of Brandon Ayuk signing, has provided some key insights into where things stand with Williams. Williams is pushing for fully guaranteed money in 2024 and 2025 within his existing deal. However, the Niners are hesitant, concerned about being saddled with a massive cap hit if Williams retires after 2024. To balance this, they've offered half of the second year's money guaranteed. Both sides are working to resolve this issue, with the 49ers aiming to have Williams signed and practicing by Tuesday. Williams is looking to surpass Tampa Bay's Tristan Wirfs, who currently holds the title of the highest paid tackle in the league at $28.12 million per year. The 49ers are reportedly making a full court press to get the deal done this weekend. Brandon Ayuk's Cap Impact The extension for Brandon Ayuk adds much-needed clarity to the 49ers' cap plans moving forward. According to cap expert Jason Hurley of 49airscap.com, Ayuk's deal effectively boils down to a three-year, $76 million contract. He'll receive $47 million by April 1, 2025, with the remaining $29 million guaranteed on that date. The structure of Ayuk's contract is cap-friendly in the short term. 2024 $5.7 million cap hit 2025 $11.2 million cap hit. 2026. $16.2 million cap hit. 2027. $42.25 million, non-guaranteed. 2028. $44.16 million, non-guaranteed. 2029 to 2030. Void years. If the 49ers decide to move on from IUC after the 2026 season, they'd face a dead cap hit of $33 million in 2027 but would save $8.9 million. The dead cap hit would decrease to $28.7 million in 2028 and $15.5 million in 2029. Debo Samuel's Future There's been speculation about whether Debo Samuel will be part of the team next year. From a cap perspective, the 49ers don't have to move on from Samuel. Cutting him next year would save $9 million, but restructuring his contract could save even more, possibly $12.4 million. With promising rookies like Jacob Cowing and Isaac Garendo, the 49ers might consider other options, but the cap does not force them to part ways with Debo. Paying Brock Purdy and staying under the cap. As the league's new TV contracts boost the salary cap, Hurley projects that the cap could rise to $300 million by 2026. This increase will be crucial for managing big contracts, including potentially paying Brock Purdy. Hurley suggests using Trevor Lawrence's deal as a template for Purdy's future contract, starting with reasonable cap hits that gradually increase. Purdy's contract could start higher, depending on the signing bonus. Future deals for Kittle and Warner if George Kittle and Fred Warner seek deals similar to Christian McCaffrey's, Hurley believes the 49ers could still manage these within the cap. By structuring new contracts with large signing bonuses and minimum base salaries, the team could save significant cap space, up to $10.5 million for Kittle and $13.1 million for Warner in the first year. Free Agency Outlook Looking ahead, the 49ers have several key players entering free agency after this season including Charvarius Ward, Diamador Lenore, Dre Greenlaw, Talanoa Hufanga, and Aaron Banks. Hurley projects that while Hufanga and Banks might be allowed to walk, the Niners can afford to re-sign Ward, Lenore, and Greenlaw if they choose to. Lenore, in particular, has hinted he'll wait until after the season to enter contract talks, likely anticipating a higher market value. With 21 unrestricted free agents on the horizon, the 49ers will have some tough decisions to make, but most of these can be kept at around the league minimum. That's the latest on the 49ers cap situation and contract negotiations. Stay tuned for more updates and analysis, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Don't miss any 49ers news. Subscribe and like this video now. We post two videos every day, all week long. Thank you to all our supporters. Bang Bang Niner Gang!